So we're going to uh, open up um, programming and go into Python 3. Right, so here's the shell. Now this, you can type one line at a time and hit return to make it go, but I want to do a lot, so I'm going to make a file here, new file. So to start off, I need to use the GPIO switches on the Raspberry Pi, and for that I need to let it know I'm about to do that. Import or Pi, watch out, that is capital or capital P, small I, yeah, I know. Thanks for that, whoever made that thing. GPIO as GPIO. Okay, every time GPIO pops up, it is generally capital. Uh, and yes, it does matter, and yes, it gets very fussy about that. Okay, next thing I need to use is from time, I'm going to import sleep. What's that do? It means um, every time I type sleep with a one like that, it means pause the program for one second. Okay? Um, I don't mean I'm making a new interesting variable called sleep, I mean actually go to sleep. So I'm telling it this, I'm going to be using that command. Deadly. Next thing, I'm going to go gpio.setmode capital gpio.board capital and what this does is it chooses the board naming system of the pins. Basically there's two different ways you can name the pins. And you can either this is the Sesame Street counting way, where you go one, two, three. So this looks kind of hard to remember, but actually there's a pattern. It generally goes capital GPO dot small lowercase stuff, and then brackets uh, a GPO capitals and something here also capitals. Okay, so check it out because the next one as well, which sets up the pins setup, and you can see the pattern there. I'm going to actually set up eleven. Uh, GPIO dot out. So what that's saying is, uh, I'm going to set switch eleven to an output, which means electricity is going to be coming out of eleven, not going into it. That's what I'm telling the Pi. I'm going to do that for the other three uh, pins I'm going to be using. I'm just going to copy paste them to save time. Uh, that's thirteen, sixteen, and eighteen. So I think it's going to be something like these two will be uh, the front wheels and these two will be the back wheels. Which wheels? I don't know. To be honest, I'm just going to turn them on and then go retroactively label them. Okay? Don't bother trying to work it out. It's just quicker to test it. When in doubt, turn it on. So let's just say I want to get the wheels moving straight away without doing lots of coding. I'm going to go GPO dot output. I'm going to use an output. Which output? Output 18. GPO dot high. I'm setting it to high, which is 5 volts. Low is just not 5 volts. Low is kind of off. High is kind of on. Right. Um, that'll turn it on. And if I if I run my program, because you see, this bit up here, I'm going to put it in a little commenty thing. This is more like the setup. This bit. And from here on down, this is the actual program that's running. So this, as a program, would just turn this switch to high, it's low by default and this would probably make a wheel spin. I don't want it to spin forever. So I'm going to just say, just do it for two seconds, will ya? Okay, there you go. Do you know what? After two seconds I should probably turn it off. So I'm going to go low here. So, well, you could just get my full program, paste it in and run it. Okay, um, if you're doing this yourself, around now is a good time to stop and check if it actually is working. So let me very quickly just check that works. So I'm going to go run. Wait, before I do that, uh, I'm going to have to save it. So go save. And let's just call it Rovery Dovery. Cool. So that's ready to go now. Uh, now, in the older versions of Raspberry Pis, you won't be able to just hit run module and make stuff work. Uh, you're actually going to have to go into terminal and do this. So. So just in case, I'm going to do it this way and then very quickly show you how to do it the other way. I'm going to click Run Module. Yeah, you can hear something going on there. Okay, uh, it's, it's actually given a bunch of warnings here because I just did it there a minute ago beforehand and the channels are not being cleaned up. So it's grand. It works. Uh, if you were to do this in the terminal, it's not too hard. 
you just go into the terminal, so go into, um, I think this is an accessories, the terminal, so older pies, you do get an, uh, uh, an error where um, idle here says it doesn't have permission to use GPIOs, um, then, and the terminal does, you just do this, you just go uh, ls, just to check what your file name is called, uh, it's rovery dovery is the one I'm using here, okay, so I go sudo, as in super user me, uh, python3, Rovery Dovery dot py and there you go. So what I've seen then from the rover is that this seems to be making the rover go forward. So I'm just gonna put in hashtag over here hashtag forward to remind me that when 18 goes to 5 volts, that's what's going on. So let's see what 16 does. I'm gonna change this to 16 uh, and I'm just going to put in the in the middle here, sleep one. So what it's going to do is it's going to go forward, wait a second, and then it's going to do something else. I don't know what this is yet. I mean, it could turn right, it could turn left, it could go backwards. Uh, let's just find out. Let's just have a go. So that's gone forward. Deadly. Okay, so the second thing went backwards. So I can say this went reverse. Deadly. Uh, let's do this again. And I mean, you can probably infer from this that these two are going to be left and right at this stage. Oh, actually, no, sorry, that, that's kind of wrong. So I've gone 18 is forward and 16 is reverse. So this is forward and this is reverse. Okay, so these are the ones I don't know about yet. So let's see, it's 11 and 13. So we go 11 high, 11 low, 13 high, 13 low. This should do all four now. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. So it should go forward, then reverse. I have to remember which one it does this time. Right. Then left. Cool. I think it's a bit stuck because it's on that little box. But right, then left. That's the order. Okay, let's write that in. So that was right. And then it goes left. Okay, deadly. So now we've got a program that goes forward, back, right, left. Now we want to make it so that there's a choice. It has to choose stuff when you type in a command. Okay, so I know I really should be using functions here, but we'll just keep it nice and simple. Um, so I want a person to type in something, and the thing, I can give it any name I want. I'm going to call it key, because why not? You type in a key. Um, that could be fish or sandwich, it's fine. It's going to be an input. Okay, and you can kind of leave it like at that, but I'm going to prompt them that it's time to type in something the same time by doing a little print statement. So, um, time to type human. Uh, the, the controls are WASD, W-A-S-D is what I'm going to go with. You can make them whatever you want, but I find that easy. So, uh, W going forward, A going backwards, A, S, no, <laughs> W going forwards, S going backwards, A going left, D going right, because that's what they look like on the keyboard. Let's do it. So now it's going to take in an input. Um, and I want to say kind of like, if I press W, then it does this forward thing. So to make this an if statement, I just go if key, the thing, that variable, is equal to W, colon, uh, then do this stuff down here. Okay? Then pretty much, uh, now, it's got to be indented once like that there. Okay, I don't need to sleep anymore because I'm now making decisions. All right, so that'll, that'll, that'll do that. Now when you type W and hit return, it'll play this little snippet of code. Cool. Um, else, if I uh, do S, so elif key is equal to S, do this reversey thing. 
Uh, a. What's right? So I wanted to turn right. It was D was was is right. Um, do this. So just get that and indent it. L F A. And indent that. Okay. Cool. So that's it. I mean, that is that's a program that will make it go forward, back, left, and right. The only thing is, it'll run this program once, go to the end, and that's it. Program over, go home, do something else. You, you don't want it to keep having to go into the program every time it gets to the end of it. So I'm going to stick all of this in a loop. Here's, just, here's one way. Just go while true, like that. While true. I want a capital T and a small w there. Okay. And now I need all of this to be inside this loop. So to be contained in the thing above it, for this to be its parent, I just tab all that in there once. Alright, so now this is the parent of all this. And like you can see, this is the parent of it. It's like a family tree. Cool. Alright, that looks fine. I like to think that's my program completely done and that's a full control scheme to drive around a rover. It's all good. Let's go test it out. Actually, let's just save it. So I don't expect this to work first time without any bugs because you should never have that expectation. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what bugs we get. Okay, so it's coming up here, time to type. So I'm going to hit uh, W to go forward. Let's try that. Nice, cool. Okay, let's try backwards. Deadly. And what about hitting A? Yeah. Cool. All right. That is everything working. Looking brilliant. So the only thing is if I run this a second time, it's going to give me a weird error. Probably because, you see, I set up the GPIOs here, but when the program was over, I never told them to turn off again. And it's not nice to leave a mess. So I'm probably going to have to put in a little cleanup thing there at the end. Yeah, you can see, look, it's a big, ugh, it doesn't like it. You know, it'll still probably work. It'll probably still work, but I better put in that cleanup thing so that it's happy. So I'm going to put in one other option at the very bottom. I'm just going to copy this. So let's make it, when you hit Z, it just quits out altogether. So GPIO dot cleanup. And that just undoes the setup. Just so I know that it's 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 exiting, I'm just going to put in a print statement to let the person know. All done. Have a hajav. Have hands. Oh, here. Have a nice spelling mistake. There we go. Have a nice day. And then I'm going to break out of this loop. So I just break. It'll then break out of here, and then look, it'll hit the end of the program once it breaks out of this while loop. So now I should get less errors. That looks fine. Deadly. Okay, it's time to quit out. So now I hit Z. It says, have a nice day. And in fact, we are all done because that is everything that's programmed. It's ready to drive around on the ground.